Good day! Before we will have our another lesson today, kindly follow me on my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you! So today, let us have the part 2 of our lesson 1, which is about the union and intersection of sets. But before that, let's talk about first, what is a Venn diagram? So I have here two examples of Venn diagram. The first one is consisting of set A, B, and C. Kung mapapansin nyo, may green shaded part ang buong bilog ng A, B, at C. While sa pangalawa naman, ang may shaded part lamang ay ang pagitan ng A at B, B at C, at C at A. Mamaya, malalaman nyo anong pagkakaiba ng dalawa. So, ano nga ba ang the union of sets? The union of sets is the set of all elements found in both sets. It is the result of adding or combining the elements of two or more sets, like this one. We have two sets, set A and B. Ang color orange na ito ang nagre-represent ng union of sets. So, pinagsama natin lahat ng elements o lahat ng part ng A at B, since we are talking about the union of sets. Next is the intersection of sets. The intersection of sets A and B, denoted by A, intersect B. Remember, the symbol for intersection is this inverted U, or yung pabaliktad ng U. Intersection of sets is the set of all elements common to both sets A and B. Sets with no common elements are called disjoint sets. So here's an example of intersection of sets. So kung kanina sa union of sets, may shaded part o may shade ang buong A at B. Kapag naman sinabing intersection, automatic iyon yung part kung saan nag-intersect ang A at B o kung saan nagtagpo ang dalawang set. So, ito yung gitnang part kung saan nagtagpo ang A at B. Therefore, this is the intersection of sets, A and B. Let's have example number one. Use the diagram below to answer the questions that follow. But before we answer the questions, let's talk about first this given Venn diagram. We have two sets, set A and set B. What are the elements of set A? So the elements or members of set A are 2, 4, 6, 14, 11, and 20. While set B have elements 4, 5, 14, 7, 20, 23, and 21. Question, bakit kasama pa rin? ang 4, 14, at 20 sa elements ng B, kahit elements na siya ng A. Ito ay dahil nasakop ng part na ito o ng part na ito ng B ang 4, 14, at 20. Therefore, they are all or they are also elements of B. Let us now answer number 1. What are the elements of the union of A and B? Therefore, we just have to combine all the elements. But before that, let us have this reminder. We use the symbol U to denote the union of sets. Again, capital letter U represents the word union. Let us now answer the question. Since A have elements 2, 4, 6, 11, 14, and 20, and set B have elements 4, 5, 7, 14, 20, and 21. Thus, A union B is equal to 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 11, 14, 20, 21, and 23. Why? Because when we are talking about union, we just have to combine or pagsasama-samahin lang natin lahat ng elements na mayroon ang A at B. Pero kung makapansin nyo, sa A, May mga numbers na 4, 14, at 20. At ang tatlong numbers na yon ay nasa B. Pero kapag pinagsama na natin or pinag-unite na natin ang A at B, hindi nyo na kailangang ulitin ang mga numbers na 4, 14, and 20. And remember, when you are writing all the elements, be sure that you will write it in ascending order or from lowest to highest. So since number 2 is the lowest number, therefore, Kaunahan nyo dapat isusulat ang number 2 and the last number since it is the greatest or the highest number. 
you need to write number 3 on the last part. Next, question number 2. What are the elements of the intersection of A and B? So kung kanina, pinagsama natin ang elements ng A at B dahil ang tanong sa number 1 ay ang union. So number 2 naman, since the question is what is the intersection of A and B, therefore, ano lang yung elements na nag-intersect sa A at B? Let us have this reminder. We use the symbol inverted U o pabaligtan na U to denote the intersection of sets. Let us now answer the question number 2. What is the intersection of A and B? So A intersect 4, 14, and 20. Dahil dito, sa part na ito, nag-intersect ang A at B. So those are the numbers or the elements both present on A and B. Let us have example number 2. Use the diagram below to answer the questions that follow. Inside this universal set, we have two sets, set A and B. So what are the elements of A? The elements of A are 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. While set B have elements 8, 9, 12, 15, and 16. Let us now answer the question. A, union B. Again, when we said union, we just have to combine o pagsamasamangin lang natin Lahat na elements meron ang A at B. So those are A union B is equal to 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, 15, and 16. Write the elements in ascending order or from lowest to highest. Next, A intersect B. Ano yung numbers na parehong mayroon ang A at B? O saan nagtagpo? ang part ng A at B. So the answer is A intersect B is equal to 8 and 9 dahil sa gitnang part na ito nagtagpo ang circle A at circle B. Let us now summarize what we have learned in this lesson. When we said union of sets, it is combining all the elements of two sets or pagsasama-samahin nyo lang Lahat ng elements mayroon ang dalawa o higit pang sets. While intersection of sets means all the elements common to both sets. Ano yung mga elements na parehong mayroon ang dalawa o higit pang sets? Thank you for watching. If you have questions or suggestions, feel free to comment below. Enjoy learning mathematics. God bless us all.